Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This video is all about sales variant selection, which has two options, which is product configurator and order grid entry. So both of them are basically related to product variants and attributes. So as you know, if you are adding a product to your system, and if that product have different attributes and values and all those things, suppose your product is a shirt and it has attributes like size, color, and you're giving values to all these attributes like you know, the different sizes like medium, large, small and colors like black, white, green, whatever it is. Configuring it while you are ordering uh, for that product or configuring all those things while you are creating a quotation is all about this variant selection. So it can be done in two ways. So this video is all about how to do it in two different ways. So move on to the video and see how it's done. So let's see how the variant grid entry as well as the product configurator works. Okay. So for that, let's open the sales module first. Now, before doing anything, the first thing you have to do is go to configuration and then there you have the settings. So open the configuration settings. There you have the product catalog. You have to make sure that the variance and also the variant grid entry is enabled. Okay, so it's already enabled. So we need not make any changes over here. Once it's done, just go to the products menu and under that choose products. Okay. So the next thing which we are going to do is create a product. Okay. So creating a product, I'll create a product called shirt with different sizes and different colors. So shirt is a product. Now here under the attributes and variants, I'm going to add an attribute, which is color. Okay. So color is the attribute and the variants. So there is already an attribute called color. So I'm adding the values of the color over here okay so you have three different values and then you have one more thing i'm adding size so here you have size over here adding values like extra small medium large and small okay so that's how you set attributes and variants. That is, you can set an attribute and also provide values for that attributes. Now, once you're done, you can simply save it from here. So you have the saving icon over here. So after saving it, uh, corresponding to each attribute, you have a configure button. Simply click on configure over there. And here you have the value as well as the, you know, I mean, the attributes, individual values. So each value, the price can be seen here. So if you have a question like this, suppose if you want to sell it, sell shirts and for green shirt, it costs $50 extra. So here you can actually set, you know, price for each of the values of the attributes. So here you have dark blue. So the dark blue shirt, let it be zero itself or simply you can change it to 10, saving it and going back to shirt going back to configure so from here if you want to set price of everything you can do that from here so this is also 10 saving it product variant values so variant values and the you know price of the different variant values can be done from here so here you can see for gray shirt i'm charging 50 dollars so that is having some extra money if you have a question like that that is you are selling variants of the same product, but a single variant or any particular variant is having price a little bit more than the other variants. How to set it and how to sell it. So this is how you set the price of each variant. Okay. So after that, let's go back and the configuration is done. Similarly, you have the size over here. Okay. So for size also, if you want to configure different price for in different sizes, you can do that from the configure button over here. So that's done. Then under the general information, you have the sales price. So it's $1. So let it be $1 itself. And once it's done, what you have to do is go to orders and let's create a quotation for this product. So click on new. And here you have a customer um, adding Gemini furniture. And then you have to add your product, which is shirt, right? See, shirt. So once shirt has been added such a window pops up which show which asks you configure your product so how did it come let me show you okay so i'm just dropping this quotation so discarding every changes i've made going back to products 
and then I'm searching for my product, which is shirt. So here you have shirt. I'm putting it as favorite. So it comes on top once you are, you know, choosing the products. If you just scroll down under the attributes and variants, you have the sales variant selection. So under sales variant se selection, you have two options, which is product configurator and order grid entry. So the first thing is product configurator. So let's see how product configurator works. So I'm going back to orders, quotation, create a new quotation. Okay. So adding the customer and also let's add our product. So I'm adding shirt, the quantity and all. So, okay. Once you added your product, this configuration window has come. Okay. So here you have the shirt dark blue XS are based on the default selected things. Okay. You can see the prices over here. So currently the price of shirt is $1. If you're choosing dark blue means $1 plus $10 you have to provide because we've already provided, you know, price of individual, you know, attributes separately, right? While configuring the attribute and values, we've already provided the price of each attribute. Okay, so from here, you can choose the color as well as the size. So I'm choosing green and the size I'm choosing it as small. So you can see shirt green small. The quantity can be set from here. If it's one or two, whatever it is, you can see the total price here. Okay, so I'm confirming it. So that's one way of choosing a product which has multiple variants and attributes. Okay, so attributes, values, different price for different values. You can, you know, everything right now. Now let's go to the other option. So this I'm saving it and keeping it there. Now let's go to products. You can simply go from the internal link. That is the external link. No need to go like that. So here you have shirt going to the attribute and value. Now here under the sales variant selection, I'm changing it to order grid entry. Okay, order grid entry. Now let's see how order grid entry works. Okay, so go to orders, you have quotations over here, create a new quotation. So here you have to choose a custom which is Gemini furniture, you have to add a product. So I'm adding shirt. And here comes the wizard. So this is the order grid entry wizard. Okay, this is how the window comes. This is what the window pops up and all. So here you have shirt under different sizes and different colors. So you can simply change the value from here. So I need a dark blue shirt of medium size. So where will I change the value? So here you have the dark blue shirt and here comes the medium size. So I'm changing the value from here to one. I need one. If you want green of large size here, you can change it. So here is green, here is large. Here you can change it to one. Okay, similarly, you have gray and all. So once your selection and all is done, you can simply confirm it from here. And here comes the selected values. Okay, so this is basically how you choose the product and also the variants. That is a single product which is having attributes and different variants and all. This is how you choose. So basically, there are two methods, which is the, um, I mean, under the sales variant selection, you have different things. So. Here, I'm going to the internal link of the product and I'll show you. Okay. So here you have attributes and variants. So under the attribute and variant, you can see, okay, you have the sales variant selection where you have product configurator and order grid entry. Two ways of entering values for a product which has attributes and multiple values for the attributes. So this is how variants and attributes of a product works. So that's how you do the sales variant selection. I hope it's clear for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.